First tonight in McLean County, farmers had a delayed start to the planting season due to heavy rain, but now the crops are still making progress. In Saybrook, longtime farmer George Jones planted his last soybeans a month behind schedule on June 7th. His corn also took longer, ending up about a month behind. He says the planting delay will cause an increase in the pollination period, which may cause more pest problems. And Jones adds the recent heat has had an impact on the crops. Temperatures at night have only gotten down to 70, 75 degrees, which means that corn crop is still growing. It doesn't have time to rest. We really need the temperatures down into the 60s so the corn crop could have a time to rest before it grows again during the day. So it's moved the crop along fast, but also with that comes some stress. So like I said, it will be a very, very spread out harvest. And he says if the corn doesn't get rest, it will not have time to produce chlorophyll, causing the leaves to look white. He also says last week's storms caused the corn to elbow but not break. 